we are meeting here at a very crucial time in the history of our country. And one generation is passed away and it was really moving to see all the children wearing the mask of Comrade N. Shankaraya today to greet me with the flowers and that is the continuity of human life. One generation has passed away, a new generation is born, a new generation has come. So the red flag will continue to fly, nobody can put the red flag down. Yesterday the elections to the five assembly assemblies in the country have concluded. The exit polls have come. The exit polls also do not show a very encouraging result for the BJP. And in two states, they have given a clear BJP defeat. In two states, the exit polls are divided. But the mood in the country today is such that what the BJP has done in the last 10 years, what this Modi government has done, the people today are expressing themselves clearly against it. And that is for the good of India and that is what is required to be done. And my appeal to all of you, in fact the CPIM's appeal to all of you in Coimbatore who have elected a CPIM leader as, the, as your member of parliament to continue to support the secular formation under the leadership of the DMK in the state so that we must make sure that this time the BJP does not win a single MP from Tamil Nadu and that must be the objective in the coming days. But the Modi government and our Prime Minister continue to say that India is prospering, India is developing and we are becoming a world leader. In fact, the BJP and the Prime Minister have given a slogan of what they call Amrit Kal. Amrit Kal in the sense that they say that they are going to serve Amrutam to everybody in India under their leadership, under their rule. And therefore, the prosperity of our country can happen only if they are re-elected and come back to the government. But, continue. But all of us must, must remember, and those who know the Puranic stories, that uh, the Puranic Kathas that, uh, that uh, take place, how was Amrutam born? Amrutam was born when there was this Samudra Manthan that was taking place, the churning of the oceans. And when the oceans were churning, the Devatas were sitting on one side and the Asuras were sitting on the other side waiting for the Amrutam to appear. But what happens when the oceans are churning is that two, two cans appear and in one can there is Amrutam, the other can there is poison. So by mistake the Devatas carry the poison can and go away and the Asuras have the Amrutam can. How the Devatas managed to get the Amrutam back from the Asuras is a different story. When that time comes, I'll tell you. But the, now we are standing at that point when Amrutam has gone into the wrong hands. It has to be brought back from the wrong hands to serve the people and for the benefit of the people and the country and not to be used for destruction of the country and the people by the wrong hands. And who will bring that back from the wrong hands into the right hands? It is the unity of our people under the secular democratic parties which have now come together under the name of, under the name of India, INDIA, and it is this India block that will bring back this Amrutam for the sake of India and for the sake of the Indian people. And that is a big battle in the coming election that we have to face. So that is a big battle before us today. But then every day, some wrong information, wrong news and disinformation is put out by this Modi government. Today they have said that India is growing. Indian economy is growing at a rate of 7.6% GDP. 7.6% is a very high rate of growth of GDP. M Mr. Modi's government's own chief statistician of the country, Mr. Pranab Sen, he has given an interview saying this is based on wrong data, data that is fudged. Fudging of data or distorting data has become the habit of the Modi government. If we are going 
at 7.6 percent every year. Then why is it today that the FDI, foreign direct investment into India, has fallen by 77 percent in the last one year? Why is it that new investment projects, announcements of new investments by the government sector has fallen by 72 percent, by the private sector by 79 percent, and 44,000 companies or corporates are vanished from paying income tax in the last one year. That is, they have closed down and they, they, they corp, they co their companies are closed down. If India is growing at 7.6 percent, this should not have happened. And along with this is the highest rate of unemployment, the highest rate of inflation, and growing hunger in the country. The conditions of the people in our country are becoming more and more miserable. And this is the reality. In the last one year, the top 1 percent, 1 percent of our Indian people, the rich people, their wealth increased by 22 percent, 1 percent of the people. The bottom 25 percent of the people, their wealth decreased by 13 percent. That is, the rich is becoming richer, the poor is becoming poorer, and that is the result of 10 years of this Modi rule. And this if continues, the rich will continue to become richer, and most of the people of India will be, will be moved into a situation of starvation.